We're also following some breaking news out of Miami City Hall, where Commissioner Joe Carroyo was just served with a summons. This happening moments ago, so Local 10 News reporter Christina Vasquez is live with the breaking details. Christina. And we're going to show that to you right now just to uh, set up what you're about to see. This is a process server that per the attorney representing those two little Havana businessmen that won that federal civil jury trial that the jury there made the determination that Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo had uh, violated their First Amendment rights. You may remember we brought you a story how they made an announcement of yet a new lawsuit pertaining to that. We're going to unpack that in a second, but essentially what I'm hearing from the plaintiff's attorney is that they've been trying to serve that complaint to this commissioner for quite some time. They couldn't reach him. The attorneys for him, they say, wouldn't accept the complaint, and therefore they decided, hey, it's a public city commission meeting. He's up on that dais, and the process server went right up to the podium during public comment. Take a look. Good morning, Madam Chair. My name is Jose Mejia. I'm a process server, Joe Carroyo. I was summoned to complaint for you to have you removed from office for violating the city chair. Sir, you can accept sir, service. Yes, ma'am. Please step away from the podium. That yeah, is not the on the agenda. Here. If you are here to do a I'm service or process, here. please do that. Step to the All side. Right. It's here. Thank, Thank you. you. And there you have it. And just seconds ago, getting off the phone with Jeff Gutchess. Again, he's the attorney representing the two little Havana businessmen to include the owner of Ball and Chain. They won that federal civil lawsuit, you might remember, against Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo that said the federal civil jury's findings. They're saying in this latest lawsuit that the commissioner then violated the plaintiff's First Amendment rights means he's in violation of the city charter citizens bill of rights and should be removed from office. But as I explained, as they're explaining it to me, that they've been trying to serve this complaint. They said that it hasn't worked, so they decided to do it in this moment that you just saw. Uh, the way he explained it to me is essentially they have already tried to schedule a hearing on this latest lawsuit, but the court told them, well, you got to serve him first, right? He has to see that complaint first. So they said they made that move this morning in order to just get the ball rolling so they can get that first hearing scheduled. Obviously, we we will go back in there and see if uh, what uh, IME Commissioner Joe Carroyo has to say. But we already know what he said when this new latest lawsuit was first announced, which is that he believes that uh, the the plaintiffs here don't have any standing to even bring this lawsuit against him because of um, some semantics within the actual city charter where it says they need to be residents. And he says they're currently not residing in Miami, even though they are property owners in Miami. Uh, a lot of this will likely play out in court in months, if not years to come. We're praying live for you. I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.